Welcome to Moo Moo Math and Science. In this video, let's take a look at frequency, wavelength, and amplitude, and the relationship between each of these and the amount of energy. We'll fill out this chart because I think it'll help organize this material. At the top of the chart will be high energy, and at the bottom will be lower energy. When energy is high, frequency will be greater. Frequency is the measure in hertz and is the number of waves that pass a fixed point in a second. When you have low energy, then the frequency will also be lower. Notice that as more energy is applied, the frequency increases and the wavelengths become shorter. So let's take a look at wavelength and energy. Wavelength is the distance from crest to crest or trough to trough. As energy increases, the wavelength gets shorter and the frequency increases. As energy decreases, the wavelength will get longer and the frequency will get lower. Now let's take a look at amplitude. Amplitude is the measure of the height of the wave measured from the halfway point called the equilibrium or rest position. As more energy is applied, the amplitude increases. And as the energy decreases, the amplitude also decreases. In general, there is no relationship between amplitude and frequency and wavelength. An example of this is if you drop an object into water, it will make waves at a certain wavelength and frequency. If you drop a larger object into this same body of water, the waves will be taller but will travel at the same frequency and wavelength. Hopefully that was helpful. Thanks for watching, and remember, kindness multiplies kindness. Be kind to someone today.